Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to be upgrading our brake system on my Wrangler JK. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this video can be helpful for you. We are going to be upgrading from the stock brake rotors and brake calipers to the extreme stop brake rotors and brake calipers. And this is actually a three piston brake caliper and what this will do is help your Jeep brake faster. It not only help you brake faster, it also looks amazing on your Jeep. So the first step of course will be to remove your wheels and tires. If you have wheel spacer like I do, also remove them. And now will be the perfect time to say bye bye to your old brake system. The next step will be to remove the brake caliper. And you can do this by removing these two big bolts behind the actual brake caliper. I hope you are strong because like they have thread lock, they will be super hard to remove. Now we are going to be removing the brake line and it's actually really easy but make sure to secure your brake caliper first in a safe place. To remove the brake line you are going to be using a 17mm wrench in the bottom and a 12mm wrench in the top. Now using a 10 mm wrench, make sure to remove this bolt. And now you will be able to put aside your brake rotor and your brake caliper. Now it's time to install the new brake rotor and what I like to do when I install a new rotor is to put two of the wheel nuts so they can hold the brake rotor in place. Now reinstall the brake lines. Now this part of the video will be one of the most important parts of this install. Use thread lock on the caliper bolts and tie them really hard.
now your brake system is going to look much better. And now we're going to install the brake line into the brake caliper. Installing the new brake pads on this brake caliper was super easy and fast. Just remove this upper brake caliper bolt and that's all you have to do. And don't forget to use Treadlock when you put that bolt back. Now it's time to do the same on the rear brakes. And now it's time to remove the rear ball calipers. And the rear ball calipers are this one right here. And this one right here. Another thing, don't forget to release your e-brake if you have it on because your rear brake caliper is not going to go anywhere unless you release the e-brake. And don't forget about the thread lock on the rear caliper bolts. After you're done with the install, don't forget to bleed your brakes. And if you need me to do a video about how to bleed your brakes, just let me know in the comments below. Well guys, I hope this video can really help you. And all I ask from you is that you give me a big thumbs up. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe because we have many more videos like this coming. And as always, see you in the next one.